Finding the spine of a rod and doing it correctly creates a better overall performing fishing rod. And it's very easy to do and requires very little in the way of equipment. One being a china marker, the other being some rod building tape. So first things first, I'm going to create a little bit of a visual aid on our blank. Taking a piece of masking tape, I'm going to fold it around the blank and create kind of a flag just for a visual reference. So once we've got that in place, I'm going to go ahead and place the butt of the rod blank on a firm surface. I'm going to support the rod tip in my other hand and I want to put a nice firm flex without overdoing it. So once the rod blank's under load, you can pinch and actually twist this rod blank and if you watch that flag, it'll snap into place. You may want to do this more than once because you may actually find that rod blanks have more than one spine. In that case, you want to build on the firmer of the two. So once you're satisfied, you take your china marker and you're going to want to make a three to four inch mark on the rod blank. This will be your visual reference later on when you're aligning your reel seat and mounting your guides. For spinning rods, you'll want to make that mark on the inside of a curve. For casting rods you, or conventional, you want to make it on the outside of that curve. And that's it. You've found the spine. There you go. Do it correctly and you have a great performing rod. Absolutely.